Boop, boop, boop. Hold on. Okay, here you go. Round one of two. Press A to start turn. Uh, a unit. I'll show you around, by the way. I'm Robin, by the way. I'm a guardian of this wildlife preserve. As you've probably noticed, this place is all about birds, but also about women. To win the game, you have to get the most victory points, which is a feather. One way to do that is by playing birds. Before I start, you should get familiar with the structure of the game. I don't know why I'm trying to sound like Obama, but I guess that's what I'm doing. Every park ranger sounds like Barack Obama. This is the start uh, start turn pop up. We plan this played over four rounds. Right now, it's your first turn of the first round. Ah, oh, okay. In the first round, you take eight turns each turn is marked by action cube okay each round you have one fewer cube and so one fewer turns to take mm. we're also going to see how many turns you have left this round and those are your end of round goal tiles but don't worry about them right now okay So I need to use, I'm going to use those buttons. Okay, I'm going to use those buttons. Okay. Now, I will show you what you can do each turn. Press A to continue. First, you need to know how to navigate the habitats of your preserve. Water, fire, tree, wind. Hold on a second. Hold on. So this tells me where... Where, where? Plants 20 centimeter. No, 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 now check what you can do. Just press the right bumper. Oh, hi. In in fire, you can lay eggs. <laughs> One feather for each egg you have left in your preserve at the end of the game. Lay eggs on birds, then brown powers in the... Will activate, okay. Now check out... This is where you draw more bird cards. Those are the bird cards, okay. For now you have some cards in your player setup. Let me tell me the most important part of this game, birds. These are the birds in your hand. Hold on, then brown powers and that will activate. Um, tuck a from your hand behind this bird.
Look closely at the structure of the Carolina chickadee. Habitat food point. Or, oh, you know what? I need to feed it. Then I'll get these two points. I don't know what the little circle things are. Gain a one point from the supply. Gain a one wheat. Gain one wheat from the supply and cash it in this car. Here you have the habitat, which is so with the, the Carolina, for example, can only be played in the, sure. Here is the Carolina chicken's food cost. It means that in order to play kind of, you need to spend either a seed, O oh, seed, or invertebrate. The number next to that symbol is the bird's point value. Having this bird in the preserves gives you many points to the end of the game. Here is the Carolina chicken's nest icon. Oh. There are five types of nests. Check kind of like chickadee has a cavity chest. The other nest types are platform, ground, bowl, and wild. Okay, wild. Well, yeah, I don't know what wild is. Nests are used by some birds' powers, bonus cards. And in the end, get end of goal, end of round goals. I'll explain this in later detail as I use. Nests can be powerful. This nest can be powerful because they can match with any other nest types. Okay, here is a bird's wingspan. Wingspan is used by some birds' powers and bonus cards. You'll notice that when you need them. Here is most important: the bird's special powers. You play this game, you'll see that birds have a wide variety of powers. There are three types of powers: when activated, when played, and once between turns. This is so complicated. This game is so complicated. I'm gonna bow out and I'm just gonna watch, I'm just gonna do the tutorial again. The Carolina Chickadee when it has a when activated power. I'll explain all three types during the playthrough. Finally, at the bottom of the card, you have egg slots. This is this is where you lay eggs. Each bird has a limited capacity for holding eggs. Now I'll teach you how to play a bird. Go to the da -da -da -da. First you need to gain food. This panel on the right shows how much food you have. Currently you have no food. To play the canal, you need this or this, right? Look at the bird feeder here. The dice show you which food is available. Ah. Inside the bird feeder are, is something, is this. The leftmost exposed dice how much food you can take. What? I don't understand. Somebody help me out here. I don't understand. Somebody help me out. The leftmost. Do a thing. I know this music is going to overwhelm my audio a little bit, but that's okay. I don't mind it. The leftmost exposed slot shows how much food you can take. For now, you can only take one cube or one food. In order to gain food, you need to activate this habitat. Okay, the left most exposed slot will activate a habitat. We'll mark your first turn. This marks the activated slot. It moved from your action panel to the left to, um, yeah, because eight, 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 eight of these, eight action cubes, and I just used one. On the left, that kind of reminds you that you activated the gain food. Yeah. To choose what you want, select the die you need from you need and press A. Choose the grain. 
You will confirm your action. Can you see the return symbol on the... Yeah. The action you're about to do can't be undone. In terms of think twice before you act. Well, when you press B, we'll go back. Well, no, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. That was your first turn of wingspan. All right, let's start the second one. Man, this uh, this Muzak is really getting to me. I'm starting to fall asleep, but I'm not gonna lie. I've had a, a ton of sugar today and I just had Chinese food, so I've got the whole MSG thing going on, so that's probably what's happening. And I'm drinking some herbal herbal tea right now. That's really quite good. I'm doing cinnamon spice. And I might even heat up my water and mix some more. Let's start the second one. Your cube from that fire flew to left and marked that you took the food action. Now you have enough food to play the California chickadee. Okay, remember that the California chickadee is the food cost that it needs. Da, 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 or this. Play the bird, you need to cover its food, which means you have to pay for it. How about, oh. Play the California chickadee by pressing to bring the cards up and confirm your selection. So let's move beneath the picture. Uh, move beneath the picture. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yeah, the picture of the bird. Yeah, the picture of the bird. Um, now, again, marking your turn. On the left, the we're not going to chose a play a bird action. Good. Look at this panel. Sure. It changed the type of food spent, but we won't do that for now. Okay. Plus, okay, so, okay, I get that so far, but I'm absolutely, absolutely going to be playing this tutorial again. And, and I might play it tomorrow, because I like this game. It's, it's super calm. It's super peaceful. I may have to play a little bit of metal to <laughs> kind of get me, like, to focus. So I spent all this. Let's start the next turn. Okay. Uh, flew to the left and marked that you took the action. Yep. The blue jay is the next bird you'll want to play. But before you do that, you'll need to collect food and pay for it. Okay. Look at the blue jay's food cost. So it's something and uh, something. Cover the any food with. Oh, with any food. It's like Uno. It's like an Uno, Uno wheel. An Uno card with the Uno wheel. You you know those? You remember those? Okay. Yeah 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 yeah. With any food item. Okay. The plus means you need to spend. Okay, so two foods. Um. So I need to use a. Hit a. But I can get, you get one dice, but you can get more. Activating the second slot means that you can take one food from the bird feeder and a symbol something means that if you want, you can discard one card from your hand for one more. By the way, can I just say something about the art in this game? The art in this game is amazing. Okay, sorry. I'm going to have to turn the music down just a little bit, guys. I'm sorry. 
It, it is great music. It is great music, but it is a little bit. It's a little, it is a little bit overpowering. I'm I'm having to fight. I'm having to compete. So so the level the levels in the music is not is not even. I I can't keep up with the levels on the music. So anyway so anyway um. Sorry guys, I'm having a hard time focusing. I don't know. Must have been like I had Chinese food, and so I'm having like that post MSG post sugar crash lethargy it's really getting to me it's really getting to me anyway um so i um i need to if i want a blue jay if i want to use a blue jay i'm gonna need two and I only have, I only have one. I only have one, so. What just happened? Oh. To play the blizzard, you need seed and any food item. Take the die with the something something symbol. And now press X to exchange one card from your hand for one more. Yeah, because I need two dice. Choose the bald eagle card. Choosing A. I just chose A. did okay oh no right 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 okay I'm choosing it guys a Choosing A. Okay. Choose from the bird feeder. Oh. These are the uh, outside of the bird feeder. Five total. Each is taken out as marked here. You may encounter birds that use this information. Okay. Now take that in and confirm your action. Oh. You can see that the, something moved to Carolina's ticketing slot. 
until you have to activate all the birds when activated power. So you activate it again, but it's not the end of your turn. All birds give give you an extra action each time you activate the bird habitat. Oh. All of your bird prize are optional. That means that you don't have to activate them if you don't want to. We won't skip this power, however. I'll show you how it works. Every time you gain food, the Carolina gains one thing. The Carolina chicken is not taking the seed from the bird feed. It just found it somewhere else. Press Y. Okay. Got it. Got it. Last turn, you cashed the Carolina chicken. It's worth the amount of food a bird of cash is marked in the bird card here. Let's quickly sum up what gives you points so far. You get points for played birds, laid eggs, cash food. Remember how I told you that you need eggs to play birds? You spend egg to play birds starting from the second slot. Look at the slots, see the symbol on top? Yep. They indicate how many eggs you need to spend in order to play a bird in the slot. This cost is in addition to the food thing. So if you want to play the blue jay, you need one egg. Uh, okay, go to fire. You will get eggs to lay on the birds of your choice. The leftmost explosive slot will activate a habitat. Now you'll have to choose where you want to lay your eggs, okay? When you perform any of the four actions, playing a bird, gaining food, laying eggs, or drawing cards, you can switch between habitats. You need to find birds to lay eggs. Let's go back to it. See that icon on the panel that shows that it means that you, when, that you activated the laying eggs action in the grassland. For now, there's only a one bird you can lay in, and that's a killer. Take it away. Lay two eggs. To choose which bird, simply press A and lay two eggs to confirm. Which I did, and it's not working. I'm pressing A. I'm totes pressing A. Hey, lady. Now you have everything you need to play the blue, blue, blue jay. Select the blue jay. Uh, you need to play, this panel shows that you need to find and select the bird to lay an egg. Select the California, okay. Long well, well, why? Nice, you have two birds played now, and so your gain food action has become even shorter. You know what? I'm totally going to need to watch like a YouTube video that explains in dumb dumb terms. I seriously need, I seriously need help with this, this, this is, this is doop. I'm dumb. I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oof. Nice, you have two birds played now, and so your gain food action will become even stronger. You can take two dice from the bird feeder when you activate this habitat. To attract more birds, you need more cards. To draw cards, go to this. Oh, leftmost exposed slot will activate a habitat. 
In each time you draw, you can choose whether you want to draw one with the visual up or face down. That you can't undo drawing. By the way, I know what a killdeer is. I've seen a killdeer. I've seen a killdeer. By choosing it, I'm pressing a Y. You remember how to gain food, right? Meet me in a, yep. Uh, yeah, when it comes to habitat, yep. Um, actually, this one's an easy one. I only need one. Uh-oh. How do I do that? Not take and uh, no, no. care that are chickadees. They can cash food. I may cash it, okay. I can gain a seed and a seed. Both, okay. Activate it, it's gonna be a skip it. So I'm gonna take it. Okay. Before you finish, however, let me show you your opponent. There's an opponent. I'm trying to figure this out. I'm not sure I really understand. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to play this. Oh, and it says here. It's a barred owl. His barred owl will hunt each time your opponent activates a bird. If it succeeds, the bird card will be tucked under this predator. Every tucked bird is worth one point. Later, we'll try to use his power to our benefit. All right, let's go back to your preserve and finish the first round. Uh, can be played, which is there. Oh, okay. Those are the end of the round goals.
You can already easily end around going mean, just pressing it to deactivate. Just press. Uh. Okay. You get zero. Hi, the points for those points are divided by the players and write it down. Press Y. Well, you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. So this is a, this was a fun game. But there's a lot to it. There's a lot to it. And it's nine o'clock at night, and I'm fried. <laughs>